Hey everyone, it's me. Who else would it be? So, um, I don't know. Today was a very weird, bad day. <clears throat> so this morning I wake up and Paul calls me. He comes over to show me some bruise on his arm from he got from working. And then we hang out. It was really weird because as soon as he came over, like, met him outside and he gave me this huge hug and he was like, I love you. And I'm like, okay, of course, you know, I'm like, I love you too. And we went for a ride. And he took me shopping to get some stuff. And, um, I don't know, like, it was just a really kind of nice day. We sat and we watched some workaholics and we watched some Tosh. <clears throat> and we watched the beginning of um, Men in Black. And um, he was drinking like he always does. <sighs> and then um, he freaking um, decides he wants to go play handball. Because it was a really nice day. It was like 70, 78, 79, I don't know, really nice outside. I was like, well, maybe you should go lay down first, you know, before you go. Because you are kind of drunk. <clears throat> he wasn't having that. He drives drunk like all the time. And I mean, so it was like, I was like, just, you know chill here, watch the rest of the movie, you know, take a nap, whatever, <sighs> but no, he wanted to go, so okay, he was acting kind of obnoxious, no big surprise, <sighs> so anyways, um, he ended up breaking this thing on my wall, like, he was, like, grabbed it, and it broke in half, he, Put it back together, but it's all messed up, and he told me to leave it like that for sentimental purposes. <laughs> I couldn't change it. Here, I'll show you kind of. <laughs> See? <laughs> it says insane asylum, and it usually goes like this. It looks cool like it is, but it's still like. It's okay, and then he left his ID here. He left some his, some of his spice here. He left some money here. Like, okay. Um, because he's like, I'm coming back I'm gonna, in a couple hours. I just want to play handball. And um, I'm going to come back and spend the rest of the day with you. And maybe spend the night. I don't know. So anyway. Um... So apparently, you know, I texted him and I was like, I hope you got there okay. I hope you're okay. No text back. Maybe he was just busy. Um, then, you know, I was worried. Probably around 4.30. I was like, oh, you live? And they checked the arrest list. Nothing. I said, I'm going to steal a Red Bull. Because he had some in the fridge around 5.30. 7.30. I hope you're okay. I love you. And I think uh, around 9 o'clock, I was watching a movie with uh, my roommate and her niece. And I'm like, this is really freaking me out. He's either passed out at home and... I'm freaking out because he left his money and his ID here and stuff, and I, I was sure he was going to be back. So, yeah, um, I checked the rest list one more time, and he was on there for, like, a whole bunch of stuff. I looked up his picture, or his thing online, and his picture, and his face is all bruised and bloody. <clears throat> It does say aggravated DUI or something like that on there, so I don't know, maybe he res resisted arrest. 
the big scar. I'm looking at the picture right now. He has a big scar right here, top of his head, probably his hair is all messed up. From his lip. I thought I, I started crying. I mean, I didn't want this. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, he deserves it. Karma. Which part of me is feeling like that too. Part of me feels like it's my fault. I should have stopped him. But I know he's like 28. He's going to do what he wants to do. And I can't stop him. I tried. I asked him to stay. He's a grown man. He's going to do what he wants to do. Um, he didn't call me. I have a feeling he called his dad, but he could have called Madi. If not, she's at home. <sighs> Worried about him. Not having any idea where he is. Probably thinking he's at my house. Um. So. I don't know. Apparently tomorrow he has court. Um, I find out exactly, I can call it like 5 in the morning and find out what's going on. Um, which is kind of funny, not funny, ironic, coincidental, coincidental. I have to be at the courthouse tomorrow for that thing with my ex-roommates. Which, he's not going to be there. He skipped town. <clears throat> and I don't want to testify. And I think if he's not there, I won't have to. But either way, I'm going to be like, well, I don't really want any part of this. Um, so I'm hoping I can find out when his, Paul's case is and go. <sighs> I already have all the information written down here for the prison and how to write him letters and his ID numbers and how much his bail is. I can't afford it. But um, I did all the phone calls. He knows I'm smart. He knows I probably figured it out already. It's what I do. I mean, when we were in San Jose and he got arrested, I figured it out. And um, it's weird because I have his ID and his like, cards and like his phone cover. It's just really weird. Just a strange day, really, if you think about it. Like, I mean, like, he was going off the deep end. And maybe this will be a good thing. I don't know. We had a really deep talk today when we were just sitting here and we were talking. <clears throat> about stuff about um like how he needs to do this right and if we're going to be together he has to do things right and now he wants to go back to school in the summer so hopefully he he gets out before then um and how we can't do anything more than being friends until he breaks up with Monty and um yeah I don't know it was just we had a really good conversation and I, I'm afraid he's gonna blame me because I blame me I don't know like I feel like I should have stopped him and I know I couldn't have and hopefully when he's sober he he realizes that there's no way I could have stopped him because I would hate for him to blame me. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm going to write him a letter. Send it off. I'm definitely going to try to be in court tomorrow to see what happens. I really don't know if they're going to let him go. Um, because, let's see, arrest charge, possession of an open container, no proof of insurance on vehicle, 
um, reckless driving and aggravated DWI. I don't know. Guess we'll find out tomorrow. Laters.